and it's called Repeat. Mm. Trying to put you in a place where I can read my words without blocking everything. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. I felt down and defeated, wronged and mistreated, doomed to make a meager life. Never wanted to gripe. I knew I couldn't do it while gripping a knife. Bing, 99.9% .9 chance to end it in stride. At least I gave a quarter of a try. Eminem was right. Had to unlearn everything. Guts over fear. Before 50 cent, I need to try. I sit up all night. Just want to cry. No wallowing. I just sit up. Funerals, darkness, all I am is dry. Mm. E.S. Yeah, to the dress. All I want to do is find where I truly belong. I want to impress, make time fly by. Yet feel the same. Know that we go nowhere fast. Feel like a kid again. Things change. One day guts. I want to rearrange. I'm just mangy, a bit cagey. Yet in a fight, seems like the light in my head is always in need of changing. All I hear are pots and pans clanging. In the kitchen, it is dark. We are all specially gifted, yet there are special needs. Do I want to use my special want to the 1% of special? I need to know the next time you make this up. I'm sorry, but my time is up. Mm. What happened to peeing on your most hated team? What happened to rivalry? Participation? I'd rather see kids and their precipitation. I got a participation award, too. I haven't seen it in years. I hope someone shit on it. P.U. Mm -hmm. Okay. You start over. Try to make the same money. For the same work, fix the ozone layer. No, it's okay. Complain about how some females twerk. You think that is slang. You are shooting for the Mars rover. I just hear the same thing. You can pull the trigger on slang. Yet how are you going to compare that to? Let me explain. You do as well as Jillian Hall. Who are you going to call? We'll just duck for cover, let the napalm spread, then lose the Korean War. Guerrilla warfare is old, just like your pencils. You are full of lead. You're done. Yeah, I, I guess I was a little bit surprised about the ending, too. I wrote it a long time ago, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That ending made sense to me at that point, but. Reading it back, I was like, oh, that's kind of abrupt. Yeah, no, no, but that's that's still nice, man. I mean, poetry has an end. Even an abrupt ending can actually be poetry because in some sense, maybe you ran out of thought or someone interrupted you. But I feel like poetry created is created in the way in which it's supposed to be. I love that. I love it, man. I love it. Um, The, the title of the poem again, can you repeat that? It was repeat. Say it again? I'm sorry. Repeat is the title. Re re yeah, I thought it was funny too. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> Can you repeat the title? <laughs> hey, look, you uh, finished the poem for me. All right, all right. <laughs> Finish the cycle. There we go. Oh man! Came back full circle. Ah, oh, that full circle, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm literally gonna make that into a snippet, uh, Isaac. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, I was like, can you repeat it? Repeat. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, what? Re re repeat is the title. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, man, that that right there. Wow. To be honest with you, man, as you read that, I actually realize now why you and Eminem have so much in common. Why is yeah. that? I, I see it because of all the elements in you in both of y'all's life, um, you know, from the of, of course, your mom and all these other elements that kind of play into it as well. I see the correlation. I see where why you were heavy on listening to him and you probably still are. Um, but a lot of I don't know if you, your word choice in this poem brought back a lot of music I used to listen to with Eminem. Like I used to be heavy in in, in middle school. Uh, with with Eminem and well into high school, um, yeah. But you kind of brought back why your your word choice in here, yeah. Yeah, I I did drop a few of his song titles. Mm, yeah, you did. You did. Guts you over did. fear. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, Guts Over Fear is definitely one of them. Yeah. But the, I, I mean, again, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's incredible, um, how deep your poems were even within the past few years. You said it was twenty nineteen. Um, yep. so to so to consider, you know, the depth in which you went with your poems or how you expressed the word choice, the things you used, even then and then now, you know, the poems that you also write now. I mean, it's you see the growth in terms of maybe you being more elaborate with your with your word choice or with your words in general and how you describe the the story you're portraying. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you still hear even back then, 2019 or even the poem before, I still hear that sense of how can I put it? <laughs> your 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 deep desire to portray to the the reader or the hearer what it is you're trying to say, or even to yourself. You know, you 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 again you're you're transparent, man. You you pour out. And I didn't realize that as much until I kind of like I don't know until today. I'm not sure why that is, but the poems you're reading today and the things you've been saying, it's like, man, this guy's he holds nothing back. Isaac holds nothing back. That that's that's what I hear. That's what I hear. I love it, man. I love it. This is this is good. Um wow. Wow. I'm blown away, man. I think this is um a, a lot of what we said is pertaining to what I think even some of the things I've been going through, like you've kind of actually helped me in a lot of instances in what, in what you've been saying. Um, remember I told you some of the stuff you told me earlier, it's helped me reflect on gratitude. Um, some of your own, your older poems are, ref are helping me reflect on gratitude because I hear the distress and the things you were kind of working your way through. Um, yeah, man, this is, this is good. This is really good. I I I have to leave it here in regards to that man. But if you have anything else to say in regards to that poor that that poem, or any of the poems that we have read, I know it's we're inching on two two hours, so I kind of don't want to push it past here in regards to like another poem and things of that nature. But if you want to leave our audience with any words, man, anything that you've captivated or captured from the call, um, I would love to hear it. Yeah, uh, I agree. We kind of got lost in that that conversation, but no, I love that. I, please please no, don't I apologize. I, I agree. I agree. Uh, it's 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 always fun to to talk to you. I mean, I don't yeah. know if it, it would be the same if we talked like every day or, or once a week. Because, uh, but you know, when we when we do talk, it's it's, it's always good. It's definitely a, a great connection, as bro. It is. it is, man. It is. So don't apologize about any of the time. I don't care if we went past, but you know, <laughs> it's just me. It's just me keeping. Um, keeping awareness of the time and your time in general, um, as well. Yeah, I think um, uh, the the world as we see it, especially if you if you see the outside world, nobody is transparent. Nobody, nobody can tell the truth. Nobody can just say what they think or how they feel. And in and you know how my parents treated me. Uh, 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 garnered me a natural rebellious person, a naturally rebellious person. And, you know, and, and I think in this aspect as well, uh, Eminem and I correlate in this because mm -hmm. do you remember uh, who was this album that was really hated? Uh, I mm -hmm. think it was the album he came back on. I uh, think... Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 20, 2017. I, I forget what the album's called. I forgot what the album's called too. Was it was it was it the album that was like the album that was heavily dissing his mom or was it uh it was after his rehab. After his rehab, okay. Let's see. Revival, there we go. Revival. Revival, okay, okay. Yeah. And and his um song Revival or in, in his album Revival, I think he mm -hmm. mentioned it later. Uh I think he he might have mentioned it in Kamikaze or whatever, it, but essentially it goes, you know, when everyone, when I first started rapping, mm. it was all about cussing. It was all about drugs. It was mm. all about it was all about that. But then when everybody else started cussing and talking about drugs, 
I changed my style up. Just because you don't like the change of style doesn't mean I gave myself up. So in, in, in this sense, you know, in a world of non-transparency, the rebellious thing to do is to be absolutely transparent. You know, you, you already mentioned swimming against the current. I think that's about as against the current as I can get in this current world. Man, that that right there, that right there, bro. It, it's it's it's. I think I think it's it, it again. It, it's a reflection. It's, it truly is a reflection of your story, and then you relating your story or being able to connect in that same aspect um, with other artists that you listen to. It's funny, right? Because I'm not sure. I can't really. I don't really know sometimes whether we gravitate toward artists that share a similar story or, or in some sense, similar experiences that we do, or if they gravitate, you know, their music and stuff somehow finds us. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, how did that, how does that work? You know, um, you know, did I somehow traverse throughout the world and find this music or did this music somehow hit me, know to find me at the right time? It's just, it's weird how sometimes it works, but, um, yeah. Yeah, I think man, look in all honesty, man, I, I feel like maybe in this life or another life, you would probably be a really dope rapper. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> like seriously, because if you think about it, poetry is like I had actually saw a meme about that. It was like a rap rappers are really nothing but like poets that are rapping about each other. That are like ra- they're writing poems about each other. <laughs> Sitting alone in their in their room. Yeah. But, um, writing poetry about somebody else they don't like yeah somebody yeah yeah didn't i post that or yeah i think you posted that yeah yeah (laughs) it's funny when you think about it man it's like these guys are sitting there writing about other men writing poems it's like (laughs) but uh i I mean we also talk about like music yeah uh, music uh puts you in a certain mood yeah i I know um uh when i was younger i was easily susceptible to you know whatever my 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 parents wanted and Mm -hmm. they wanted to invade my mind and control me quote unquote however much you believe that Mm -hmm. uh my mind and get me to do what they wanted without questioning what i wanted for myself Mm -hmm. i know when i started listening to music that really connected with me in a, in a different way than my parents did. Mm-hmm. I think using that music and put it on re- and to put it on repeat, mm-hmm. uh, um, it invaded my mind in a different way and, and gave me a different perspective in life yep. and got me out of that. So, uh, you know, honestly, I, I think a, a number of artists mm-hmm. for, for uh, sharing their lives and their perspectives to, to, to share with the world and save people's lives because, you know, without Eminem or without NF or Hobson, I don't know if I'd be the person I am today. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's why this is important. That's why this type of stuff, that's why let's just talk. Like, that's why I started this. Let's just talk Trey. Like, that's why I started all of this. It's like, man, we need to talk. I need to build communities within my community where people come together and they share stories because other people, other people literally lives are perhaps in some sense changed from someone else's story. Yep. Countless people, man. You know, so it, I, I have a burning passion to, to make that happen. And I'm like, Hey, I'm going to just start me a brand where I create that. So, um, yeah. Again, man, I, I know we're running on time, you know, running in, in terms of like going well into the day. Um, but I also know we could talk forever. <laughs> I think me and you could could definitely always talk um forever, man, because it's just so much I think we both um have passions for and passions to express. However, I'm 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 itching to push it put to push this content out. Like <laughs> I'm itching to I, I'm I'm so serious. I'm itching to push this content out. 
like I want to push out so much content uh, tonight. And so I, I want to make sure I make room for that, man. And also, I hope to get some snippets of this out tonight because there was so much mentioned in this, Isaac, man, that uh, it just it. it and, and, and it's funny, too, Isaac, man, I, I'm not sure if you ever thought about doing this, man. But even if you didn't show your face, you should perhaps at some point just post snippets like of, of you talking about life, because on I know definitely YouTube and then also on Snapchat, they actually like you over there, man. I get a lot of views over there. A lot of people liking your videos. Um, just letting you know. Yeah, uh, I actually have been thinking about it recently. You know, you've um, you've sent me plenty of the the YouTube shorts. I haven't posted any yet, but mm -hmm. I'm going to get myself in a spot where I um, I guess I'm trying to get myself into a routine before I start adding more to my plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I know, like, uh, like last time I mentioned about my core um, 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 social media tag, mm -hmm. and I was thinking about doing, like, I have um, a number of followers there, but I was thinking of, like, making my own little um, form on that mm. and trying to implement their questions into YouTube shorts so I can answer it in that way, mm. even if I write it out first. But, but I want to connect in that way and maybe you know garner some some sort of community on a different platform that can support me more or at least you know give me something while also helping other people because i know if um if you're good at something you shouldn't do it for free and mm -hmm. i know when uh being in core I've, I've answered i don't even know lots of questions hundreds uh -huh. of questions so when when they ask me those kinds of questions, um, I give them my knowledge for free. Mm -hmm. But I know if I ever get stabilized, I can use that as a jump to a different platform and and get paid for the knowledge that I have. Exactly. And 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 that way, you inspired me to do that. So mm. that 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 um, how do I word this? Don't think that you're the only one that is inspired by what I say and 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 uh, has you reflect and and understand more aspects of life and um, mm -hmm. you do the same for me. And it just you know, it, it's uh, this relationship uh, yeah. is definitely a take on on both sides. So Bro. Don't, don't think that it's only one sided on that. Absolutely, man, and and I appreciate you saying that. Um, I had a you know a check in call with one of my members earlier, and he actually said the same thing. Uh, it almost brought me to tears. And you saying this is giving me that same type of emotion. It's just like man, you know, to to hear that people take from what it is I do or what I what I put out. Um, you know, a lot of times you, they may not say it, or you may not get a message telling you exactly how people are feeling from what you're doing or the inspiration that's being given. But uh, when you do hear it, it's a beautiful thing, man. Um, so I appreciate that. I appreciate your words. I appreciate your transparency. I appreciate, you know, you as a person. Um, don't change, bro. Don't change, Isaac. Like, you know, I, I know you may not have gotten that support or that affirmation from your parents or other people in regards to who you are as a person, man. But I would say the Isaac I know, the Isaac I hear here now, um, don't change. Don't change. Don't hide. I would say don't even don't even hide it. <laughs> You know, yeah. but uh, I, yeah, I've had a couple of people in life. Um, once I started doing stuff outside of that, where they they told me to to not change, and you know, I I wish I could have done more for them mm -hmm. regards of what they wanted from me, but I couldn't at that time. But I I know that their words uh, stuck with me, and and mm -hmm. in, in that regard. You know, um, sorry, I am. I feel a little emotional about it now too. Yeah, um, but uh, it's 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 nice to hear the mm -hmm. "don't change it again" because you know it's it's been a while since I've heard it. It's it's definitely from people that thought of me very highly, even though yep. even when I didn't think highly of myself. Yep. So mm -hmm. to, to hear that is is amazing. Yeah. Uh, 
it's good. And, and I also know that uh, Eminem on his, I think this one was Kamikaze Stepping Stone, mm. where he talked about, you know, he he should have been more communicative about what he thought and, and he should have been more transparent towards D12 as a group because mm-hmm. he just let the group, uh, him being part of the group, mm-hmm. suffer because they didn't communicate for years and years and years. And obviously it was because of a certain incident that happened to uh, his best friend, uh, Proof. But, mm. but you know, it, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, uh, how do I say it? You should tell people what you think of them so that way they have a better understanding of of who they are as a person to themselves. Exactly. You, you see yourself in a certain light, but, you know, me, I, I see you in a different light than maybe you see yourself. Exactly. If I can tell you some of the qualities that I see in you that I appreciate, mm-hmm. then then not only will you see those qualities in yourself, you might also try to amplify those, yeah. those same things. So I, I don't want, I know that when I listen to other people say mm-hmm. things like the regrets they have, I try to implement that and go, well, I may not have had the best father figure, but I want to, not have those kinds of regrets, especially if it's brought to my attention. I don't want to yeah. fall into that same pattern. Mm-hmm. Exactly. 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 Exactly, man. Yeah, bro. I, I'm I'm, I'm going to let you have the last word on this one. Um, <laughs> again, I think that so much good stuff has been said here um, that it, it, it calls for um, a, a matter in in time in which you know you can just let it marinate. I think a lot of people that are going to listen to this are just going to have to probably pause it, <laughs> you know, rewind it, um, to let it and allow it to marinate in their minds and allow it to sit and settle. And I think take from a lot of what you and I both have said, and, and even in regards to the poems that you wrote and the poems I read, um, bro, I I can't. Can't thank you enough for being here, bro. Can't thank you enough for this time. Um, again, I know Elena probably wanted to be on here for sure. I'm sure she wanted to be on here, uh, but I know she had to do these things. So, Elena, no, no biggie at all. Uh, we definitely missed you, but um, good thing I record this so that we can, in a sense, relive these moments. Um, bro, Isaac, I thank you for being here, man. Uh, as we close out, man, if you don't mind, uh, of course, as I always do, to just kind of, in a sense, give people that. Um, you know, that 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 way to in some sense contact you. I know it's probably just through IG, but if you don't mind shouting out your IG, man, and I think you have a YouTube channel as well, but at least your IG so that people can know where to hit you up, where to follow you, man, to reach out to you if they also want to just gain that sense of aspiration um from you or just hit you up to talk to you individually. Yep. Um well I also want to mention that uh I appreciate the the mutual respect because mm-hmm. you know even when it, a lot of times it could just be us reading poems and nothing else uh, and, and maybe discussing a little bit outside of that. Yeah. But you know, we talk about it. We, we go, we delve, uh, we, we already know, but we, we delve deep into the, the subject and, and make a connection in that way. So mm-hmm. for anybody who's feeling alone, this is between me and, and Trey, this is, mm-hmm. this is what is mutual respect and, 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 an understanding and and you know if you feel as though you don't have that in your own life maybe you should uh look into your environment and, and the people that you have in your life and, and change that because uh, your your environment makes you so just be careful mm-hmm. uh, my youtube is pim uh p dot i dot m dot uh Instagram is Zerberz, Z-A-R-E-B-R-Z. Uh, Quora is Regal Rewards. It's like a first and last name kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then I never use my Twitter, but I guess if you want to go on Twitter, you can do uh, P-I-M underscore 
I N E R four nine P I P I minor forty nine. So uh, those are the the tags you can find me at. Love it, man. I love it, guys. Go and follow Isaac. You all know him. He's a pretty common uh, member in my Facebook group. I mean, in my uh, poetry Facebook group. And um, again, he's constantly been on some of the other ones as well, mental health, um, as well as some of the other calls that we've had also, um, where he's just kind of voiced his um, perspective and he's shared it uh, multiple times. So go and follow him. He's no stranger. Um, show him that love and support. If you follow me, everyone I bring on these calls, everyone that's a part of these calls um, means something to me. Um, and they they've become like family, so go and support them as well, and 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 you know show them that love that you show me. Um, but again, Isaac, I want to thank you so much, man, for being here, guys. Make sure that you like, share the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment on anything that you you know heard here today, anything that me or Isaac can address to you. Comment below, um, and just let us know your thoughts, your 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 feelings on what it what what was said and. Um, allow us to pick your brains. And if you want to also join the group, uh, you can join either my private group or my public group. My public group, we do these. Um, I try to do these at least once a month. And with my private group, we do these every week um, where we have these uh, poetry nights and we share our poetry. Uh, we talk about them, talk about the meaning behind them, the stories behind them, and really allow each other to just go deep into why these poems mean so much to us. Um, but with that said, guys, as you all know, thank you for staying here. If you stayed this long um, for the call. But as you all know, until next time, peace.